Born in the USA now. Yo! <laughs> uh, yeah, so, um... Yeah, uh, thanks to my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera, yo. We about to take a little, a little, a little trip, you know what I'm saying? Back in the time, you know what I'm saying? We gonna take me away, I don't mind. But you gotta promise me I'll be back in time, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> intro. Yo, what's good, guys? It is your boy, Jason JV. Say <laughs> welcome to uh, another reaction vid, yeah. And yeah, I know I'm a fool. But anyway, uh, we're about to get into this requested reaction. This one comes to us from none other than my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera. Shout out to my man Jay, you know what I'm saying, who's been hooking your boy up with all these requests. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, this requested reaction um, that he wants... Well, this yeah, this requested reaction that my man put in um, is for... Uh, two Live Crew, um, and this is their song, uh, Band in the USA, and this is their live performance at the 1990, bruh, bruh, I feel old now looking at that year, 1990, MTV Video Music Awards, um, I won't say how old I was at that time, but anyway, uh, <clears throat> let's go ahead and get into this, once again, Two Live Crew, Band in the USA, live performance at the MTV VMAs. 1990, that is. A request a reaction from my man Jay from Redneck Riviera. Without further ado, I'd like to hear here. Everybody, put your hands up in the air. If y'all don't believe in this thing called system. And by the way, apologies in advance for the overlay, but being that, you know, this is an MTV televised event you know what i'm saying you know we're gonna be hit hard with the copyright claims and all the other bows shit you know what i mean bruh anyway we want to see you where y'all at and what y'all all about and all you pizza people we want to see y'all put your hands in there like this here waiting from time to time y'all don't believe in this thing they call citizenship because we ain't about that and if y'all down with us let me put your hands in there waiting from time to time you know what my man is saying right here, man? We ain't down for the censorship. We ain't down for that nonsense. And what is one of the, the issues that we are facing today? Censorship. People being canceled. Anyway. I like this here, because we're going to tell y'all something tonight about this thing, what they call censorship. With you live, corrupt the politicians, playing games, bringing us down to boost their fame. They must be joking, nigga. We work for, but they're like flies moving the wall. We stand tall from beginning to end with help from fans and all our friends. Freedom of speech will never die for us to have our ancestors died. Whoo! I'm feeling what my man is saying here. Talking about yo, man, we uh, we over here, we grinding. You know what I'm saying? We trying to come up the the uh, the. Uh, Legit way, having a little help from our fans and our friends, you know what I'm saying? All of our loved ones, you know what I mean? Trying to help us, you know, make it to the promised land and everything. And then you got, you know, people trying to trying to censor us, you know what I'm saying? Freedom of speech, you know what I'm saying? It, it ain't never going to die. I hope to God it ain't, it ain't never going to die, you know what I'm saying? But, man, it's amazing. This is a song that was out during the early 1990s, late 80s, early 90s. And the message so far is relevant to what's going on this very day in regards to censorship. Bruh. Bruh, tell me this this ain't this ain't creepily, you know, relevant today. I mean, bruh. Don't keep thinking that we will quit. We'll always stand and never sit. We're too live, too black, too strong. Doing the right thing and not the wrong. So listen up, y'all, to what we say. We won't facts man my man's like yo man we ain't gonna stop we ain't gonna quit you know what i mean because yo we ain't doing anything wrong man we just up on here up on the stage expressing ourselves you know what i'm saying we 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 out here expressing ourselves through our music you know what i mean we, we just trying to sell some records and make an honest living that away instead of going the wrong way you know what i'm saying bruh so why are you trying to shut us down what the hell man won't be banned in the usa
Ain't that ironic? How, how you gonna be banned in the USA? You know, the land of the free, the home of the brave, the land where freedom of speech is supposed to be a thing. I mean, constitutionally, we 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 have you know our one A right, freedom of speech, right? Bruh, bruh, how ironic. Banned in the USA, I was banned in the USA, I was. You know something? Check this out. When we were selling records to black people, it wasn't no problem. When we started selling records to the white side, then that's when the problem came in. It ain't all about that, because we all one people and one nation for all. Facts. Facts. You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying in regards to this whole music thing, this whole rap thing, you know what I'm saying? It, it was cool when, like he said, they, they, they were selling records to their own people, but then when it went to the white side, you know what I mean, people who, who don't look like them, oh, all of a sudden it's, it, 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 it's a problem, and it shouldn't be a problem because it don't matter who you are or what you look like, at the end of the day, we are all one people. They were preaching this back in the early 90s. And this message is relevant to this day. Bruh. Bruh. So miss me with Lord Jamar's BS. Miss me with Nick Cannon's BS. You know what I'm saying? Them boys got no room to talk. Bruh. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? And they ain't got no room. And this is business here, because we all down with each other, and we love each other, right? The First Amendment gave us freedom of speech. So what you say, it didn't include me. I like to party and have a good, good time. time. There's never a place. See, you, see, you see what I'm saying here, man? Like, bruh, is he talking about, yo, the First Amendment, or the, the Constitution, it included the First Amendment. It, it, it was about freedom of speech, you know what I'm saying? But somehow, for, but, but for some reason, though, it seemed to have missed me. You know what I mean? Like, oh, like, everyone else can have freedom of speech except for me? Why? Why? <laughs> you know what I mean? It's cool for everyone else to talk their shit, say whatever they want, but I can't. Why? Hmm? Because of who I am, what I look like, you know what I'm saying, where I come from, is that what it is? Hmm? Hmm? Bruh. I know you don't think we'll ever quit. We got some people on the side that won't take your lip. We're going to do all the things we want to do. You can't stand to see a brother get as rich as you. This is the 90s and we coming on score. Same thing they're doing, things that you say is wrong. So why is it not? Because on election day, we'll see who's banned in the USA. Banned in the USA. And he ain't wrong about that either. He's talking about on election day. We're going to see who's who going to be banned in the USA. And he ain't wrong. I remember how much of a struggle it was for hardcore rap. You know what I mean? Or really rap and hip hop in general. You know what I mean? From the most friendliest, Will Smithiest. Yes, that is a term. You know what I mean? Uh, rap and hip hop to the most down and dirty, gritty, you know, hardcore gangster rap and hip hop. You know what I mean? It didn't matter what the sound was. You know what I mean? Everyone has a right to say what they want to say. You know what I mean? Respect the Constitution. Respect the First Amendment. You know what I'm saying? You don't have to agree with it. You don't have to like it. You don't have to buy it. You know what I mean? And just because you don't like it, you know what I mean, and you're not buying it, doesn't mean that you can stop other people from, from getting it. You know what I'm saying? Th those who want to hear it, they should be able to, you know, make their own decision as to whether or not they want to buy that kind of music. You know what I mean? Because at the end of the day, music is subjective. You know what I mean? Bruh, we all have a preference when it comes to music. Bruh. Say I was banned in the USA. I was banned in the USA. Check this out. The United States of America. Yeah, we, 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 I, I just saw, I just saw like, like, like a half moon, you know what I mean? Talking about some, some, some wardrobe malfunction going on there at the junction. I mean, bruh, bruh. You know what my man's saying here? He said, this ain't China. This ain't Russia. 
This is supposed to be the United States, you know, the land of the free, home of the brave. And you got Popo coming in, interrupting our shows, interrupting our performance. You know what I mean? Bruh, bruh, bruh. This is America. We have the right to say what we want to say. We have the right to do what we want to do. And what I do in my house, you might not do in your house. So what I do in my house is my business. It's a simple facts in america we have a right to say whatever we want to say do what we want to do you know what i'm saying i have a right to do whatever i want to do in my household even though you don't do the same thing in your household doesn't matter i have a right to do whatever i want in my house my house bruh the fact of it all is that we are bonded by the first amendment we have the freedom of expression we have the freedom of choice and you say these black he ain't wrong, you know what I'm saying? Freedom of expression, the freedom of choice. You know what I'm saying? Bruh. Bruh, let's go, my guy. Green Purple Juice, you have the right to listen to MC Hammer, Public Enemy, NWA, and even the two live crew. Man, he, 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 done, he done aged the song right here at this point, you know what I mean? But I mean... I mean, but I mean, like again, this this did come out in the early '90s. He goes, "Yeah, you have the right to listen to MC Hammer. You know what I'm saying? Public Enemy, N.W.A. You know what I'm saying? And yo, we got Flavor Flav coming out to the stage. You know what I mean? All dressed up, patriotic, like you know what I'm saying, bruh." So all you right wingers, left wingers, bigots, communists, there is a place for you in this world because this is the land of the free, the home of the brave, and do. You hear what he said right there? He was calling out the right wingers. Who are the right wingers? The Republicans. You know what I mean? It used to be that the Republicans wanted to shut us up. You know what I mean? And not the other party. But now it ain't like. But we all know better now, right? Well, not really, because you know what? Both parties, you know what I'm saying, are too extreme. You know what I mean? Bruh, it don't matter if you right, don't matter if you left, man. Both parties are, are way too extreme. You know what I'm saying? And that's why I'd rather be in the middle. You know what I mean, bruh? Anyway. Love is what we are. See, this was that real, that real rap and hip hop. You know what I'm saying? That real conscious music. You know what I'm saying? That was calling out all the bullshit. And this is why the artists of today, including you, Eminem, looking at you when I say this, uh, artists of today will never measure up to these artists of yesterday. Why? Because their morals, their values don't compare to artists like this that were that first were, were coming up, you know what I mean, when the genre was young, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh, you know what I mean? Wake up, wake up and see through the bullshit, you know what I'm saying? Bruh, bruh, they were already calling it out way back when, and, and it's still relevant to this day, you know what I mean? So they were like, okay, yeah, we want freedom of speech, we want people... You, you should be able to listen to whoever you want to listen to. You know what I'm saying? Say what you want to say. Do what you want to do. You know what I mean? And if anyone's got a problem with that, fuck them. You know what I mean? Who cares? Bruh, you don't have to like it. You don't have to agree with it. But you let me live my life the way I want to, I will let you live your life the way you want to. You know what I mean? Bruh. Bruh. Do one of those as you want them to do one to you. You know what I mean? Respect is a two-way street. We don't have to agree. You know what I'm saying? But we still got to respect each other at the end of the day. Anyway. Look at that, man. You got MC Hammer up on stage with Flavor Flav and the rest of the two live crew. Oh, my bad. Flavor Flav was with Public Enemy. You know what I'm saying? Brett. Get off! That's enough! Enough. Hello, how are you? Pleasure to meet you. Hi, how are you? Freaking Arsenio Hall. <laughs> Let's go. Anyways, y'all, so that was Two Live Crew Band in the USA. This was the live performance at the MTV VMAs circa 1990. And this was requested by none other than my man Jay from the Redneck Riviera. Shout out to you, Jay. Appreciate the, the request. My bad for taking so long to get to it. You know what I'm saying? It's just been busy with a new job and all these other reactions that I needed to get to. But uh, we, we get into them, though. We get into them. But anyways, y'all, 
I'm with this 100%. Y'all are too. Y'all know what to do with the link for the original video. That'll be in the description down below. And uh, yeah, while you're in the yeah, description down below, feel free to look over the reaction request. So if you want, if you want something for me to react to, you know what I mean? Got instructions on how y'all can get those in. And uh, don't forget to check out my store links while you're at it as well. That'd be greatly appreciated. And also, don't forget to check out all the homies that I rock with and the folks that I rock with section. You know what I'm saying? Let's show the fan bam some love. I'm sure they'll greatly appreciate that. And, uh, yeah. If you want the reaction, like, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. All those things will be very much appreciated. And, uh, yeah. With all that being said, it is your boy, Jason JV. And y'all take care. Have a blessed one. Catch y'all next one. Peace. Bam. In the USA.